<laughs> this summer, Batman returns to Gotham City to clean up crime once and for all, but it won't be easy. So this time, he's bringing a real boy wonder, the Rain Man. Uh-oh. 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 Wait till they get a load of this. In a matter of moments, the dynamic dunderheads will be crushed flat by 10,000 pounds of deadly weight. Definitely 10,072 pounds. <laughs> Definitely 72 pounds more. Of course, Wapner's on a 30 second. Gotta see Wapner. Verdict's already in, boy. And you lose! <laughs> Wapner's on a 23 seconds. Can't miss Wapner. Let's see Wapner. Wapner's on in 10 seconds. Uh oh. Definitely less than 10 seconds for Wapner. I gotta see Wapner. Uh oh. Good work, little chum. Curses. A momentary lapse of muscular coordination. Batman and Brain Man. Crime fighting was never so special. <sighs> I have a headache this big. It's like a bass drum banging in my head. But I took two Excedrin, and that's all it will take. Oh. Oh. What's the matter, Bill? Oh, it's my shoulder. It's killing me. I've tried everything. Nothing seems to help. Have you tried new Ben Gay? Does it work? Try it. How's the shoulder? Great. Let's play ball. Two Excedrin. That's all it took. <laughs> Last night on ABC World News Tonight, Peter Jennings apologized for the unlabeled use of a stage simulation in the Felix Block spy case. Here now is our simulation of that apology. I apologize for our simulation. Sorry. I've got a headache this big, but I took two extra strength Excedrin, and that's all it'll take. What's wrong, Bill? Oh, it's my shoulder. It's killing me again. Try a new extra strength, Ben Gay. How's the shoulder? Great. WS, minimum wage syndrome, the new killer. These are not isolated cases. It's a national epidemic. Reports indicate that 20% of the American working population is at high risk. And by the year 1993, that figure will have tripled. Teenagers, blacks, and this guy are particularly susceptible. Oh, that the work, you lazy son of bitches! Well, I don't know what the problem is with this PMS thing. If they want a job, they can work here. If they want to make a living, maybe they should go out and sell drugs. Like everybody else. It's the American way, right? Oh, man. If I told you I could save my life by just putting on my socks, you probably wouldn't take me seriously. Because life is never that simple. But watch. See how easy that was? Don't you think you could do the same thing? If you're gonna have sex... Wear your socks. New studies by the Department of Corrections suggest an alarming increase in the inmate population of our overburdened federal prisons. Here with a report exploring one possible answer to this crisis is NNTN correspondent John Ross. John? In this edition of American Solutions, we took a look at a new way this country is dealing with the problem of prison overcrowding. Already filled past capacity, prison populations are on the rise. Facing a soaring budget deficit, Congress is unwilling to approve major spending to build new facilities. 
But now, many Americans are taking advantage of a bold new program that offers substantial tax cuts to families that participate. This is 127 Eleanor Avenue in the quiet town of Elmhurst. The Hobermans live here. With only a few modifications on their home, the Hobermans were able to take in Ray Dickerson, serving an eight-year sentence for attempted manslaughter, and Alfred Groff, serving 15 years for kidnapping. Yoo-hoo, Alfred! Ray! Yoo-hoo, it's lunchtime! Work programs around the house allow Ray and Alfred to earn 50 cents an hour. They're conclusive. Oh. Decisions about privileges fall to the Hobermans. You know, you have to be stern with them or they lose respect for you. But overall, they've been relatively well behaved. I'll tell you, sometimes I actually have more trouble with my Billy. When we visited, Ray was being let out for a parole hearing. Get back! Get back! I am a hostage! You let I say, I'll kill her! Ah, just kidding. <laughs> Here. Ray, if we let you out, do you promise that, like, you'll never do it again? Yes, I promise that I'll never do it again. So for Ray, Alfred, and the Hobermans, the system seems to be working. I'll see you on the next edition of American Solutions. For Not Necessarily the News, I'm John Ross. I decided long ago never to walk in anyone's shadow. They can't take away my dignity. It's just that I'm in a hurry, if you don't mind. No, no problem. Oh, thank you very much. Excuse me. I got my dog in the car. 